we're going to recognize the Petty family. It's their 75-year anniversary involvement with NASCAR racing. Of course, King Richard is on the other side of this big statue here. I think you can tell who he is, the guy with the hat. Kyle is here. We've got other members of the Petty family here. Uh, uh, your sister, Rebecca Moffitt, is here along with his grandson, Thad Moffitt. Also, Brian Moffitt in attendance today. We appreciate all that. It looks like pretty much everybody from Legacy Motorsports has shown up. Eric Jones over there, John Hunter Nemechek, Dale Lemon in the house. Thank you all very much for being here. And uh, Thad Moffitt will be racing in the Wright Brand 250 truck race tomorrow here. And also joining us today is the CEO of Speedway Motorsports and a gentleman that was instrumental in the comeback of North Wilkesboro. Uh, Speedway, Marcus Smith. Marcus, I'm going to turn it over to you for the rest of this presentation. All right. Thank you, Doug. Doug, appreciate you. And uh, we got to celebrate Doug because this is Doug's uh, the, the one last lap with Doug Rice. Uh, last Mega. year broadcasting. Right. He's an amazing uh, part of our, of our sport. Thank so, you very much, Marcus. Thank you, appreciate Doug. that. Um, and I got to tell you, we are so blessed to live in a time of Richard Petty and the Petty family in 75 years of Petty racing. It's, uh, it's really phenomenal. And we're, we're celebrating today two people that don't need uh, an introduction because you got Kyle Petty and Richard Petty, the king right here is uh, so many kids, millions and millions of kids know you as Mr. The King from, uh, from the Pixar movie Cars. Um, but the thing that everybody knows coast to coast and around the world is that hat and sunglasses. So as part of uh, honoring you and celebrating you, we want to do something special and, and, uh, and take a, a replica hat and put it at all of our properties and, and it caught on through all of NASCAR. Uh, but you're the winningest driver in NASCAR history and the winningest driver at North Wilkesboro. 15 wins here, I think, at least 15. And, uh, and, and your, your legend is, is amazing. So uh, what does it mean for us to be able to put this hat here and uh, have it here at North Wilkesboro for the revival of the Speedway? Yeah, you know, I can remember coming up here when this place was dirt. Uh, my dad ran, in fact, NASCAR, uh, I think it was one of the original racetracks. So it's a very important deal for uh, this track to be involved in NASCAR and for the Petty family to be involved in NASCAR. So, you know, from that standpoint, the whole deal is <clears throat> letting the new, <clears throat> the new fans know that we have a history, okay? And the history started here. Without the small tracks like Wilkesboro and Martinsville, there wouldn't be no Charlotte Speedway. That's right. Okay? So this is a learning operation, and I think it goes back with the moonshine deal. It goes back to where NASCAR first started and lets the new fans know that we've got a history. And uh, this... This is one of the places that it first started. So we're just proud to be here. We're just proud to be part of NASCAR for 75 years, and we're still surviving. And uh, I guess as long as there'll be a NASCAR, uh, there's going to be a pity involved in it somehow or another. I love it. I love it. And Kyle uh, has been your, uh, your running mate now for a, for a long time. And uh, you guys have – Kyle, could, can you believe when you were a kid that you'd be standing here today unveiling a replica hat? So I, I, have to, I have to tell you, I'm going to echo something my dad said. Um, when they said that where the hat was located, he said, I don't know. I've never been on that side of the racetrack before. <laughs> because we always just came in and came across the back gate. That's um, great. So it, it's funny. There's a lot of racetracks we go to that we've never seen anything but the racetrack itself. Uh, riding over here with Dale Inman telling the story uh, of rolling in here and my granddad and the 54 championship, all he had to do was start the race and they broke an axle. But they've been coming here as the family um, since, the, since the place was built. That, that's the way it is. And that, that's the interesting part of, of being a part of this family and being a part of this organization. And growing up with Dale and my dad and my Uncle Maurice and now Thad's come along and Adam came along and, and, and the whole crowd. So I, I think to, to be able to come back to a place like this, for racing to be back in a place like this um, is a touchstone for us. Uh, Charlotte Motor Speedway, Daytona, uh, Darlington, where we just left. Those are touchstones in our family uh, that will always be special to us. This place, it would break your heart to ride down 421 and, and see it just sitting here for so many years. Uh, but for it to have life again and for the fans to come and the teams to come is really special. I have to admit that when Doug said this is the 40th year of the All-Star Race, it took me back a little bit um, because I'm just teetering on that 
that old thing. You know what I mean? I'm not old yet, but I'm dang close after 40 years because I ran that first all-star race. <laughs> Your race, one hot night. One hot night, baby. The lights. That was that why, was the night. Why does everybody bring that up? I run second. Because, I, that was a terrible race yeah, for me. Because if it weren't for you, <laughs> we would never would have had that finish. Oh my gosh! It okay. was the days of mellow yellow yep, and was. long flowing hair. Yeah, and man. If that you guys knew Kyle Petty hair. back then, yeah. Oh my goodness. That was a di- but that you know what? <laughs> but but that's you know we we ran the All Star race before that, but the All Star race really became the All Star race. In '92, at one hot night, one hot night, it separated itself from all the other races. It separated yeah. itself from, and we all would say, and you'll hear it here. Well, it's not a points race, but there's a million dollars on the line. Oh yeah, it's a it's a big deal to and win this all star race and a big trophy. <laughs> but it's a it's a big deal to win this yeah. all star race. And you ask anybody who's ever won it or anybody who's lost it, um, it it is a big yeah. deal for sure. So uh, that pretty much was the put the put the line in the sand to say. The all-star race is important to the sport, and it'll continue for a long time. Absolutely. Well, you both talk about history and the history of our sport. And history, you know, I would equate that to a foundation of a building. Without a great foundation, you can't build a great building. And the history of NASCAR and motorsports has a great history, uh, the foundation that we built on. And 75 years for the, for the Petty family in NASCAR is something to celebrate. And that's what we're here today to, to do today. We're going to set up this monument to celebrate the history that you guys laid uh, in the foundation of motorsports. So you guys uh, take this uh, sheet and pull it back, and let's see what it looks like. All right. That is gorgeous. So every track has... A different uh, has a different look same hat same iconic Richard Petty cowboy hat but uh, but it has a different design so King will you tell us a little that's bit about me. your hat? that's me right there that's me I know I know this this is me when I'm like two or three probably okay. right along in there yeah this picture right here it's cool yeah, that's my driver's uniform I got on yeah <laughs> this is fireproof this is fireproof flannel Man. If y'all have ever seen a fireproof flannel That's uniform. That's uniform. That's great. <laughs> I love it. I love it. That is a good-looking hat. That's great, man. That's it incredible. Is. It is. So for people who don't know, what kind of hat do you wear? Charlie One Horse. That's Charlie what Charlie One right Horse. There. Yep. Made especially for Richard Petty. You got it. Yep. That's pretty cool. That's <laughs> I feel like I got the big head now, okay? You're, you're yeah, he does. <laughs> you know what? Every every driver needs to learn from you. You never uh, you never stop signing autographs, have you? They're the ones pay the bill. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. That's it. All right, all guys, day. let's that's get you to sure. pose for a couple of quick yes. photos here because uh, some people have got to actually go to work inside here. I know Thad's got to get, get, get in the truck. Thank you. Yeah. So. Um, yeah. Let's do these and then get. Uh, our Legacy Motor Club folks up here for a quick photo, too. That'd be really good. By the way, thanks to all of you for giving some time today to be a part of this. This is really special, so thank you very much. All right. Amy, can you round up your crew and get them over here? Social media and yeah. I, they say this is like, they say he's over the moon. 